Welcome to a weekly vlog. Today is Monday and I am currently en route to B&M Bargains. I've not been for quite a few weeks actually, maybe even a month. Could be two months. I couldn't honestly even tell you when I last went in there. In fact, I think I went in not that long ago but I didn't buy anything. I went in for something specific and I didn't come out with it. But yeah, I'm off to B&M. It is currently half past one. I was meant to, long story short, Indy the nursery all day as, as well as Casper. I was meant to go and pick, um, I was actually meant to be going down to Stafford to have my Botox and lip filler done. I've not had lip filler for nearly two years. Um, but unfortunately, the couple that do it, or own the clinic, should I say, they had to cancel this morning. I know that they're super busy. So Indy's in nursery all day and I've just literally spent the morning getting loads of stuff done. So I've already filmed and edited a YouTube video. It's currently like finalizing itself and should be live either tonight or tomorrow. Then tomorrow I'm going to London. I've got a super exciting event tomorrow in London. I'm gonna film that. Wednesday I'm working. Thursday I've got the kids all day because my mum is on holiday and then Friday I've got the kids all day because I do anyway and so I just thought I would just turn this into like a weekly vlog obviously I was going to film today going to get my aesthetics done um, but I just thought do you know what I'll take you to B&M instead I want to get some storage jars some more storage jars any of you watched my um, productive day the other week you'll know that I wanted more storage jars so I'm gonna go get some more storage jars I really really want a Halloween doormat because we went to Farmer Cockles yesterday and bought loads of pumpkins and I wanted to create like a really cute Halloween um, like door frame I just think it'd be really nice to do and then I also want a new laundry basket for our bedroom because it's just not big enough anymore I just feel like it's constantly overflowing and it looks awful and the space that it's in is actually really big and it just looks a bit lost but then it's overflowing so it just doesn't look very nice I want like a really nice big wicker laundry basket and then that also becomes my shopping bas like my shopping bag I'll just put everything else in there that I've bought without buying a bag um B&M was rubbish and do you know what I feel like it always is I don't even know why I go there anymore home bargains is so much better I can't even remember what I said I wanted to get in there. Oh, storage jars, I did get some, but that is literally pretty much all I got. So I'll just do a really, really, really mini haul. Um, I got some Barney Bears, because I feel like they're just really hard to get hold of, and I just like them for snack jars. I got some um, replacement mop things, because we have one of the flash mops, and I thought instead of buying the, the uh, throwaway ones, I'm gonna buy some replaceable ones and be Mrs. Eco. Just got the kids some Aveeno bath wash because they really needed it. It's ne still nearly six quid in B&M. Like, it, this sort of stuff is just not cheaper anywhere, is it? But Casper's got really sensitive skin and we need to use Aveeno. Then I got these glass storage jars. They were two for five pound in like a two pack. This is what I'm gonna put my raspberries and my blueberries in. Um, and just keep them as like our raspberry and blueberry and strawberry jars. Then I got this one for cereal, just to see how much it would hold. It was three pounds. There was a bigger one for five pounds, but I don't actually know if it would fit in our cupboards. And then I just got a new flash mop spray. I do usually melt the top and add some stuff to it, so I don't have to keep buying this, but it currently won't work. Um, so instead of, so I'm just gonna see if it's this or the mop. If it's the mop, then I'm gonna have to take this back. How much is it these days? £3.50. Mm, it's not that bad. Could be worse. And then I went into Home Bargains and tried to look for a wash basket, but they didn't have any. Um, but I did find this really cute little cushion. It says, Here, there, pumpkin. This is going to go on my leather chair. And then I got Casper some Halloween pyjamas because they were £6 and I promised him that I would get some yesterday when we went pumpkin picking. He's really into like Halloween and stuff now. And they glow in the dark as well. So I got them in three to four. 
hoping that they might fit as well next year um but if they don't i'll just save them for indie anyway because i feel like they are quite unisex because there's a tiny bit of pink on there and then it is indie's birthday party in five days i completely kind of forgot about that um and it's like wild and worn flower themed just got some paper cups i don't know if you can see the pink they're like pink with a gold scallop edge matching napkins got two packs of these and then two packs of the plates um not i only got one um one pack of these because oh, we're gonna buy like fruit shoots and stuff so i just thought we might not use that many but now i'm thinking about it i probably should have bought two packs because they were like 90p <laughs> but i didn't um yeah i'm just gonna go put my little cushion on the chair match my pumpkin blanket which is from asda so it might be too wide actually oh no it's not that looks really cute hey there pumpkin i'm getting in here decorated in like the next six to eight weeks and i honestly cannot wait the walls are just filthy and I am fed up of it being grey because grey is just not me. I just want white creamy walls and a nice creamy colour around the fireplace. Um, and I feel like it would go with our furniture better as well because we don't have any grey furniture. There we go. Hey there pumpkin. Fab. Yeah, I'm just going to wash our fruit now and get it in the new container. One step forward and another back I will never try to fool you I'm one heartbeat away from going mad Girl, when you look like that Close up, close up, I'ma get close Good morning, I am currently on route to the train station. I've just had a blow dry by my bestie Bianca. It is nine o'clock in the morning. My train's at, it's not nine o'clock, it's 10 o'clock in the morning. My train's in about 50 minutes. So I am gonna be there early, but I'd rather be there early than like panicking and rushing. Um, I wanna get a coffee for the train as well and like something, to, like a little snack or something to eat. But yeah, I am en route down to London for a super exciting event. The most exciting event I've ever been invited to. Um, it's it's a little top secret, actually. Um, so I don't want to say anything just yet in case I get told off and I can't put it on the internet yet. Um, because the actual thing I'm going down for doesn't launch until January. Um, but the main sort of character as such or like star of the show is Danny Dyer um, so I'm spending the afternoon with Danny Dyer like that is just so exciting I just can't believe it I yeah I don't know like I only got the email last week and I was just like do you know what I am making this work because the amount of times I do actually get invited to events in London and I just turn them down because I'm like the logistics when you've got two children and childcare is just far too much for me to even like think about. I had to turn a Babes and Yo-Yo event down a few months ago because it was just like midweek and I'd have had to get childcare for both kids and it was just one of them where I was like it's not even worth the hassle. Um, I've turned a Boohoo event down because I wouldn't have got in I wouldn't have got home till like five o'clock in the morning and I think my mum and dad were on holiday and then I have both kids the next day anyway like I've had to turn a lot of events down but it's Tuesday and I was like do you know what I am not turning this one down like it's not getting turned down the timing's quite well so the actual like event slash photo shoot is like three till six so I'm getting into London for about 1 p.m and then I my train home is at half seven so I'll be home and in bed hopefully for like 11 o'clock which is not too bad at all and I just managed to get extra childcare for the kids and Josh is picking them up so all good we are ready to go I've just done my makeup in my friend's salon because I got the kids ready to go to nursery this morning 
and then well i was actually gonna go to the gym if i got them there early but i didn't i got them there half an hour after i wanted to and that was my half an hour that i would have spent in the gym so i just went straight to my friends for a blow dry and then i just did my makeup in her salon just because obviously she got the big mirrors and there was no point going home because her salon is like 15 minutes closer to the train station so i've had to go home to go back past her salon anyway um yeah so i've just done my makeup in her salon i am just taking like a little bag like a little shoulder bag and then i've got my tote bag as well um just with some bits in i didn't want to take my massive like louis vuitton never full because it does get really heavy and i also like i know it sounds really bad but i don't want to walk around london with it on my own because i am going to be on my own for quite a bit of this journey um so yeah i didn't want to walk around london with it on my own so i've just got my little tote bag and a little like sort of what do you call it shoulder bag side bag that just like hangs just for like my phone my keys graphics my tote bag obviously is just one big empty bag i didn't want to be able to like not be able to find anything and yeah exciting journey ahead i'm hopefully gonna get a nice coffee i might get a cake or something so let's go to london I have arrived in London. I've been here about two hours now. I've not picked up the camera till now because you literally forget how loud London is. But um, I've just arrived in Shoreditch, so it's a little bit quieter. And I'm just walking to the venue now where the photo shoot is slash event. Um, hopefully it's not too far down this road, but I'm absolutely sweating. It is so bloody hot in London today. I can't believe it's October, to be honest. Um, it literally feels like September, end of August, and I'm wearing a blazer, so it doesn't help. I'm currently lost, which is fun. Um, I think it's like the other side of where I am, but I can't get through, so I don't know how to get there. Um, 2527 Hackney Ride. My phone's dying as well, which is fantastic. That's what we all need, isn't it? <sighs> Why is London so complicated? Don't know which way to go. just halfway through the day now um, I've been here about an hour an hour and a half we've done a fitness class and um, what else have we done that's about it and just taking lots of photos um, so by the time this goes live I will actually be allowed to say but this is a new collection with Danny Dyer I've got like grey set on some flared trousers and it literally is like butter it is so so nice um it comes in black green gray and like a bluey color um and it is stunning good morning we are now on thursday 
so we completely skipped a day today i was gonna just quickly like do a quick video on finalizing a bit of tuesday but i went to work forgot my camera and yeah i just forgot basically um it's currently what time is it i think it's about half seven half seven just making breakfast for me and Indy. Casper's upstairs for some reason he will not come downstairs um i've spoken about this before but he's scared of cats and last night there was a cat outside the window and it was just staring into the house and he is literally was petrified and i actually think that's why he won't come downstairs but i can't just stay upstairs forever and i don't want to mention it because i don't want i just don't want it in his mind if that's not what it is um, so i'm just giving him his own time to come downstairs but yeah i got back um basically from london i got it was absolutely rammed like there was no way on earth i could have filmed anything that's casper two seconds ah two seconds darling yeah are you helping me yeah yeah so as i was saying the train no don't mummy will put you in now are you getting me a mug is that what you're doing it was so busy um the underground tube that i got on from shoreditch where the shoe was oh wow i was literally packed on it like a sardine yeah thank you do you want me to sit you up there watch my cat here she comes Indy also walks absolutely everywhere now. There's literally, she doesn't really crawl anymore. Are you coming? <coughs> right, mummy's just making a coffee. <coughs> I need you that up. Right, I'll sit you up then. Indy's one. Indy's one next week, isn't she? Yeah. Is her birthday? I want to go to her birthday. You are going like to her birthday. You're a big brother, aren't you? Yeah. Right, Indy, darling, just give me two minutes. I can't hold you. Um, but yeah, what I was saying was um, it was far too packed to film anything. I was literally like a sardine on the tube. It was like... Then I got to King's Cross. I got myself some tea. I just went to Wasabi and got some sushi and like a chicken salad box. Went to Weight Rose, White, Weight Rose, yeah, Weight Rose, and got a bottle of water and some minstrels. And then I just sat on the train. The train was packed as well because I got on an earlier train and it Did said, Did you go on a big train? I went on a big train, didn't yeah. I? Do you know where Mummy went? She went to London. Did ya? Did ya? I did. What? Mummy's car? Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> and um, it basically said if you got on this train and you don't have tickets to this train, you need to sit in carriage C, seats 1 to 37. Well, them seats piled up so fast. Like, I luckily got in there quite quickly and they literally were just full to the brim after that. Um, so he said it was a full train other than that carriage. Um, so yeah I got home well I didn't actually get home I missed the stop at Wakefield I don't really know how I feel like it stops I, tried, I got up, pressed the door and it wouldn't let me off I feel like it must have stopped before I actually thought it did and by the time I went to get get off it like was ready to set off again so I had to go to Leeds and then get on a train from Leeds back to Doncaster which went through Wakefield um, so I was back at the car park for the same time I would have got back for if I'd have got on my original train anyway but yeah I was absolutely knackered when I got home I felt hungover and like it was a busy day and I did do That's a lot of walking a dog, Mama. it is a doggy we got have one like that oh are we yeah oh says who uh, uh, dog uh, is me dog is gonna be his name <laughs> Um, yeah, I was absolutely knackered. I got home and went straight to bed and then I worked all day yesterday. I was going to take my camera to work, but I completely forgot. But I've got the kids all day today, I've got the kids all day tomorrow, and I'm not working Saturday, so I've got quite a nice... And then it's Indy's party! Yeah, Indy's birthday! I want to show You can't leave me Indy's party. 
not going to leave you in this party, are we? I'm going to come. I'm going to... Oh. Are you going to help blow her candle out, aren't you? We might have to go to the supermarket today and buy a candle. Yeah? And a birthday card. Yeah, we do need to do that, actually. Yeah. Happy Friday. We are just staying at home for most of today. I thought I'd just turn the train on. What time, what time is it? It's literally nine o'clock in the morning. Breakfast is done. The kitchen is clean. My wash load's just about finished. In fact, I think it is finished because I can't hear it. So I'm going to get that on the line. Not the line because it's absolutely chucking it down. I'm just going to get it on the clothes horse. But I do think everything that's on here now is still quite damp. So I'll have to get another clothes horse. Um... I'm just really in that like lost in washing phase of life right now. When we had that sun in September, everyone's wash basket was empty. The bedding was done, like everyone, we all have two sets of bedding each. Indy has two sheets for a cot. Casper has two bed sheets, we have two bed sheets. There's literally not one clean bed sheet in the house. Like, I need to change our bed. In fact, no, we have actually. We've got clean, bedding but Casper doesn't his bedding is still in the washing machine it's still in his wash basket um you know when it's just like we've got so much to wash like I've got his bedding to wash um I technically would need to wash our bedding when I take it off the bed because it's so bulky as well it doesn't even fit in our wash basket um I need to wash the sofa I need to wash towel <laughs> like I need to wash clothes um these are all basically pretty much in this clothes give or take a few of ours caspers are currently in there but i've still got half of his ba wash basket full half of indies is full ours is literally full yeah i'm just in that like lost in washing phase because of the rain's not helping at all i did actually put the washing out yesterday because it was sunny for quite a bit but i mean it was probably 12 degrees so it didn't really wash dry very well but this is the worst thing about winter like i do literally love this time of year um, I just love the coziness of it. I love like being chilled in pajamas on a Friday morning at nine o'clock because what's the rush to go out anywhere? Um, but yeah, I've just booked soft play, so we're going to soft play for half twelve. I'm going to put Indy down for a nap in about half an hour, maybe. She got up at half five. In fact, she could probably go down about now actually because I need to get her. She'll definitely be up for half twelve. Need to leave the house about twelve, but I want to feed the kids before we go because I'm sick to death of spending money. I usually go to soft play on a Thursday if my mum's not here, um, whereas she takes them to play group. But I obviously took them to play group myself because it's cheap and cheerful. It's two pound fifty a family, and they get snacks, and mum gets a cup of tea or a cup of coffee. Um, and I just thought if I went to soft play yesterday. I would end up spending 20 quid probably and I knew that today was going to rain so I knew that potentially I could end up going to soft play today but every time I ask Cass what he wants to do he just says he wants to go to soft play and it's absolutely chucking it down so I'm okay with that I so yeah we're going midday which is like which is better because it means that Indy will probably sleep on the way home as well so she'll get two naps in she only had one nap yesterday and she was very very groggy by like 6 p.m because she got up at maybe half one two o'clock and then that was it oh you're in the spice cupboard again of course you are you're always in there aren't you but i feel like it's not a lot to catch up on really we've got indy's party on sunday i'm just gonna when we've been to play i'm just gonna go to a printing company which is about five minutes away from there to get her little poster printed which says um, Indy is a wild one or Indy is wild one. I'm doing it like flower themed, but like wild one flower themed because she is literally a wild one and it suits her down to a T, especially with the middle name in Blossom. I've always really loved doing flower themed stuff for anyway or buying flower clothes. Then tomorrow we need to go to Aldi and get loads of food to do like a grazing table and loads of alcohol as well. I don't know why it looks so dirty. I don't really look it. I think it's because I put um, the Molly May filtered hand drops in my moisturiser again. I've just not rubbed it in very well. 
Bah. Yeah, we need to do that. What else do I need to do tomorrow? Oh, I need to collect some balloons. I need to collect the cake, but I think we're going to do that on Sunday. And Josh needs to collect the pies because we've ordered pie and peas for all the adults. Um, so the grazing tables for more like the kids. So I'm just going to buy like some little mini pizzas and stuff like that for the kids. But yeah, nine o'clock Friday morning. We're just having a really chill day at home, playing in the playroom, watching TV. Because Cat is actually into TV at the minute. I feel like I jinxed myself when I said that Casper doesn't watch TV and it's really hard work, but now he literally all he wants to do is watch TV. I feel like someone that was listening to me, but now I feel guilty because I've never been used to him drinking drinking. I've never been used to him watching that much TV and now I feel like all he wants to do is watch TV, but he only watches he watches like tractors and stuff on YouTube, like real tractors. He doesn't really watch. He's not really that interested in oh. um, like TV programs, but he does love Elemental on Disney. We've watched that a few times now, and he will sit for about half an hour and watch it before he gets bored. Yeah, is that you? I don't mind gorgeous little Linda Bay. You are one in five days. Oh my goodness me. She's literally pointing at everything at the minute. Everything is ah, 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 isn't it? Ah, ah. Happy Friday afternoon, evening. Um, we went to soft play today and gaga, yeah, yeah. yeah. And now I'm just cooking tea. Um, it's about half five. Josh should be home in about half an hour. And yeah, Friday night and. I always look forward to the weekends, to be honest, like the evenings. Um, Friday nights, I always feel like for some reason I can have a late night. Nice to have Josh at home in the mornings. Um, and yeah, we look forward to Fridays, don't we, darling? I'm going to try and go to the gym tonight because I've not been to the gym since Monday, and obviously it's Friday. I did do a workout in London though. Um, it was only like a little leg bums and tums pass it was probably like 25 minutes but i did about 15,000 steps so i guess it's better than nothing but i'm gonna go now because the noise in here are getting really loud and you probably cannot hear me hey 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 it is saturday evening and i just feel really stressed i'm not gonna lie it's about half five we're all in our pajamas josh has just gone out um, cause his brother is in a boxing match tonight. I feel like we've got so much to do tomorrow for Indy's birthday. I'm having to put the washing on again because it absolutely chucked it down even though it said it was going to be dry all day. And you know what I was saying to you earlier that our wash load at the minute is an absolute joke. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try and get the kids to bed early and just have a night to myself. Watch a bit of a chick flick and have an early night and try and get um things sorted for tomorrow so tomorrow i need to collect the cake collect the balloons go to aldi food shopping because we didn't do it today luckily we've got all the alcohol i just need to get food we need to collect the pie and peas we need to set up i need to like do my hair i need to get the kids ready <laughs> all in between i need to try and get Amy to sleep in the day for her first nap i just feel like there is a lot to do Good morning. It is the day of Indy's first birthday party. I have just been to collect her balloons and her cake. I've just dropped them off um, at the party venue, which is my mum's house. And I'm just heading home now so that Josh can go out with Casper and get the pies and the um, he needs to go to Aldi and do the food shop. I was gonna do that. But like I could literally go now. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's five to ten. Thing is, Aldi doesn't open until ten, or I would have left the house at like eight o'clock this morning to try and sort it out. But Aldi doesn't open until ten o'clock, and it's five to ten now. But Josh was gonna go and get the pies and go to Aldi and get the food. But I feel like he's just going in like two really opposite directions. I just tell him to go to Morrison's instead because that's just down the road. I can't imagine it's much more expensive. Maybe it is, I don't know. Um, but yeah, in, Indy's cake looks amazing. When I get back to my mum's house later this afternoon, 
I will obviously video everything. Um, but yeah, we're just doing pie and peas for the adults, a little buffet for the kids. I've got the step and slide and a ball pit for the babies, hoping that the kids play outside um, because it's meant to be really sunny all day. Very cold though, it was three degrees when I first left the house this morning. Um, gosh, this sun is so low and so bright. But yeah, exciting. I just need to obviously go home, get myself ready. Got three hours to get sorted. Three hours, that doesn't sound a lot, a lot of time at all actually, does it? Oh my goodness me. Hello. <laughs> I am here again to tell you that I did not film anything for at Indy's party. I had every intention of just filming the little clips here and there, filming the the cake, the buffet, and I just didn't. <laughs> like, call me the worst YouTuber in the world if you want, but honestly, I don't know how people remember to do these things. Like, I, I just forgot, that's why I didn't do it. Like, unless, I don't know, they just live, breathe, eat YouTube, that it's all that's on the mind. But as soon as I got to my mum's house, I was just setting up. Um, we we're cutting carrots, cutting cucumbers, putting things out on the table, getting indie dressed, like just sorting stuff out. And honestly, I just completely just forgot to basically film anything. So I am going to just insert some clips that I got on my phone. Um, so they will be like kind of that big. They'll be like in the middle of this video. But I'm just going to leave this video here. Um, I've got so much to do today. I've got so much sorting out to do. Just tidying away. Got loads of clothes to put away. Got to go through all Indy's presents. Her birthday's not for another few days. But what I'm going to do instead is just do a completely new vlog on what Indy got for her birthday. Because I know a lot of people have asked about present ideas as well. We haven't got her a lot. But I just thought if I did a video on what we've got her. And then what other people have got her. It'll just give like a nice idea of things to buy. What she got. And I, just, I do love watching little videos like that. And I'm actually so excited. I feel like I'm more excited than my own birthday. Um, to go through her presents because she has got a lot of stuff. I will just go downstairs to the playroom now and show you but Josh is doing a voice note to one of his clients. Um, it's finished. Yeah, I'll just quickly go and show you and then I'm going to leave this vlog here and my next vlog will be what Indy got for her birthday slash Indy's actual birthday. Can you see that massive pile of clothes behind me that needs putting away? Fantastic. Yeah, this is the mess that we're dealing with. This is Indy's presents from the party and then she's obviously got stuff from us that I've not even wrapped yet <laughs> because it's me um, but yeah I'm going to go through some of it today to be fair just because there's so much I'm just going to carry it up to the spare room now because when Indy comes home I don't want her like rooting through all of it and then I'm just going to leave a few of like the toy bits for her to open on her actual birthday but yeah, thank you so much for watching everyone and I will see you in my next vlog video. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day I'm trying to make this darkness go away